All right, just got done with the internship. Uh, the internship uh, interview, and it went good. I'm definitely glad I did the research before on like how the trucks works and stuff because they asked me the first like they asked the normal interview questions and I like I've, I've already talked on the vlog about like how I've answered them and stuff so whenever I do these more internship stuff I'll talk about the stuff that I wasn't expecting or wasn't new uh, but like, like one question was he asked me about like simulation stuff if I've ever done anything like that and I said I hadn't but I did a little bit of messing around with like calculating the load on me doing the pull-up bar when doing this and then he actually was really fascinated with that and started asking me questions about it that I didn't know the answers to but I was able to say like I did it a while ago and I can't really remember I'd have to pull it up but it was good uh, but the questions he asked me that I wasn't expecting were uh, related to um, uh, first he asked me what did I think the lifetime of the trucks they were making is and I had no idea I had no idea so after like fishing for some like maybe answers I said 35 years and he said uh, it, it's 20 years but 2 million miles and that's kind of crazy but um, I guess kind of reasonable but then he asked me like I'm designing this part for the front of the tractor underneath what are the considerations for and this is definitely where my research came in so I talked about the how the shape I'd want it to uh, prevent air from going underneath the tractor and uh, to stop it from going underneath the tractor which would increase drag and then I, t I told him that it would be port cost uh, durability uh, retention of shape and uh, retention, oh, there was one more. Retention of shape. Retention of durability, retention of shape. Oh, and lightness. I said those are all important. Uh, but if I was going to order them, uh, I put cost as a separate category. But I did... I considered uh, um, I said retaining the shape and durability would be the most important and then lightness would be something like ideally it would be the light but it would be better to increase the weight of the part in order to make sure it was durable and retained its shape so that like a stray rock hitting it wouldn't damage it and that and I spent a decent amount of time answering that question and he said that I of the couple years he's done this uh, I've, I've, I've done I've done well than most candidates in answering that question which was yes um, and then he asked me, like, uh, what would be the, if there was, you were in production, you were making this part, and then you found that you could increase capital uh, and decrease the price it costs to make the part if you, uh, if you change the assembly line, which would uh, back out production value. So my answer to that was, um, my answer to that was that I would 
first keep the original thing and I definitely talk to my higher ups, my superiors and present them the idea. And then once we like met all the production requirements for the current customers, I wouldn't hire any, I, I wouldn't uh, set myself to create production lines for any new customers or if I did I'd push back the time I deliver such uh, such components parts or tractors in order to uh, in order to meet the criteria but uh, and then I would I definitely would not convert everything I'd create a production line in order to make sure the idea, the part could work and that it indeed would increase the capital and decrease the price and such. And then once we had that working and we knew we could trust it, then I would start converting the rest of the assembly lines to that new method and then ship those parts to new customers. And I was really happy with that answer. And then lastly, it was the question about how I deal with a coworker I wasn't getting along with. And I said, I first talked about whether if it was an idea that like on how to complete something. And we had, I said, thought we could do it one way. They said another. Then I talk about how it is important to have uh, a third voice, get someone else's opinion in order to add to the matter. But in the end, if it wasn't a, if it was more of a, I just don't get along with you well, then I would try to put myself in their shoes and then be considerate and stuff. And I was, and then I asked him some good questions that he seemed happy about, like asking, um, one moment. asking how uh, how well uh, like what's the most Thank you. what's the most important factor in deciding in making a truck aerodynamic like if I was going to choose one thing if you were to choose one thing what would it be and he definitely said the, the vortex that was created between the trailer and the tractor and he talked about like the different aspects in that matter super long line for lunch right now but it's good because I get to keep talking here um but uh, and he went into a spiel about that the Vortex was created there and how different companies aren't buying into this is what they need to do. They keep making the space really big. And he started talking about like Tesla's trucks and stuff, and that was cool. Then I talked to him like, uh, like specifically why they use Creo over SolidWorks. And he talked about how uh, it really just started because that's what, when the company was initiated, that's what they bought um, bought the program for and they were able to do that and they just every like couple years they do an analysis to see what the costs would be to switch to a different program and would it be better and stuff but they've just mainly stuck to Creo and uh, after then Um, and then I just asked him specifically what what I might be doing for the job and stuff and he was uh, was good about uh, like he said the exact role stuff you wouldn't be doing isn't been known yet but um, uh, you would be doing like 
stuff with sheet metal and actually trying to create better assemblies and stuff. Uh, and he he had experience with SolidWorks before he started working for the company, and it, he said there was a kind of a learning curve, a jump in order to start learning uh, Creo, but. Uh, I, I said that would that be something he'd want if I got the internship that I spend the time in order to learn Creo before the job and he said it would be good it's just helping yourself but it's not necessary we'd have a couple starter sessions on how to use it um, the time of uh Yeah. And then that was it. He said he had a couple more interviews he was going to do. But if I get it, I'd be contacted by the, the person that I had the first interview with. Which is good. Alright, I just got out of Diffy Q. And, uh,. Calculus 3 with David and Jared in that class is taking their test today. So it was funny, I left. Run, 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 run! Uh, I wrote Jeremiah 2911 on the, on the whiteboard and said, you got this, guys. Here's kind of crazy. Um, <clears throat> today was kind of a blah day. Kind of, I have a runny nose and stuff, and uh, I don't know. I just wasn't like I didn't have motivation to do piano or practice trumpet. Ate dinner by myself. Kind of in a melancholy mood. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really have anything to say. I just thought I should put some other recording on the vlog for today. You know what's really good? Um, and that David and I both put it in our mouth. These cookies. They're so good. I got them when I went chopping today, and they're all gone, except for one. This is my second cookie. You went shopping today? Uh-uh. Trying to get a physics lab done. Mmm. Mmm. Alright, I... After we finished our physics lab and ate... <laughs> More of those cookies. Oh, they're so good. Um, headed to a meeting I had with Genevieve. She's the student director of clubs and just talked about like the prospects of being president and what I'd have to go through and organizing and etc. Um, that was good. Had two scoops of ice cream and waffle cone so I'm not very hungry right now uh, definitely eating dinner later but uh, and then I headed to PT and I, I have this roller I can't wait to go in and hit David on the head with it but uh, yeah 
I plan is to finish physics tonight, and then with the remainder of my time, um, i watch some more videos from math, get ready for that. Uh, send, oh, definitely send a thank you email now to send a thank you email and then uh, for the internship and maybe if I want to treat myself. Oh boy, people are jumping up and down. Okay, I got to join. Nice. There you go. Nice, Aiden. Awesome. There you go. Get that reach. And then just stick your hand in the crevice. Up above. Keep going. More right. Yep, there you go. Nice, Aid. Awesome. Imagine to be able to dodge bullets. Then Caswell comes around. Beep, de- <laughs> All right. <clears throat> bad news and just found out now. Good news. Uh, bad news is I'm not sure if it's because of the different stretches I did yesterday at PT or because I went rock climbing and I know shoes don't have good support but I got to bed at 11 woke up at 12 and couldn't fall asleep till 4 um 
my event, I think the only reason I was able to fall asleep was because I just shoved granola in my mouth to have food in my stomach, and then it took it some ibuprofen. But that was at like three, so I didn't think of doing that because I didn't want to eat food because I wasn't hungry, but I wanted to sleep more. Um, yeah, uh, there's not many new internships for me to apply to. I just watched an episode of Vox Machina uh, for, from D&D, Critical Role. Um, and I, but I think next time if I'm like that again, I might design that shoe support for my dance shoes. I was thinking of maybe uh, cutting out of wood at some point. But yeah, and good news is I completed that thing for my test. They he just it entered in the completion, so that was exciting because I was a bit nervous I wasn't going to get that, but I did. Man, I really hope I get an internship. God, please. God wills it. I really hope he does. I'm 40. Forty-six now, I think. Did I apply to a new one? I don't think I did. Because she was forty-five. Forty-five internships. It's kind of crazy. All right. Just got back from jazz band. I was able to practice through uh, my entire piano and trumpet session before, which is good. And jazz band was fun. And I'm going to do some more homework finish physics and go eat food and then uh yeah do more homework but definitely enjoyed jazz band today had a really fun time doing a solo on what you're dealing with haven't done that song in a bit but now i just like scat singing but it made a letter to scat water Scat and da do da ba da da ba da ya. That's when we went to Goodwill. No, Dave, you don't remember the 80s dance? No, I do. You the worm? I don't remember where you're getting that from, Goodwill. No, it was. I I gave him a ride, I think.
All right, just did some of the virtual uh, virtual reality welding. I think next week I'm gonna get certified to do actual welding, but. <coughs> Until then, I'm gonna just, in my free time, head in there and get some good practice in, which should be fun. All right, just got back from d and I'm gonna try to get some sleep tonight, though. <laughs> my bet's on not getting sleep. Um, yeah, we'll see. But um, d and was fun. This was a, uh, you do what you wanna do, just session. Uh, they sold their paintings, uh, got a pretty good deal there, uh, paid the money forward in order to start renovating and create the forge. Um, forge and family is what they're calling the business. And they started like a glass blowing, uh, glass blowing industry. Uh, to showcase and they have like their two rooms which they are air D and D and they got a whole system for like giving people crackers to make them thirsty so they get more, they drink more and they're thinking about getting interns again to run around and advertise which could be fun um they also did a couple side quests in order to gained some money uh, one thing is they went into the field district and investigated some uh, scarecrows that have come alive uh, they went on one other one but I don't remember um, but yeah so they had their fun there and now I'm going to go back to uh, a more scripted uh, event coming up next next session man I'm back in the <laughs> wanting to create music stage uh <laughs> maybe at this point I just try to write piano music I don't know. I think I'm just gonna record myself playing some piano right now and see if anything cool ideas hit. Maybe work with an <laughs> always in C minor, but maybe a different chord progression. I don't know. Let's just see.
like that. Oh, there you go. Oh wait, it's not on. Do it again. It's really tight. So it's like... Ugh. Oh, muscles. It, you literally look like just a block. You're, you're like Roblox. Yo. Just do do. Oh, the pants? Yeah. Are you sure it's not just no, sticking out on its, its own? It's so big that it's like, it's weird to wrap it around. I need like a way to keep all the extra slack. <laughs> Alright, you can see Alright, well I don't like wearing jeans, but I've got my look for the 90s, 2000s dance. It was kind of a last minute throw together, but I think it works. Alright, chopping wood was good as usual. Uh, last night I slept, I fell asleep. I slept so well and I fell asleep so fast. I was listening to, I went to listen to the podcast from, uh, for Theo and I fell asleep within three minutes and David had like turned off the computer and stuff. And I know I fell asleep be because I went back to listen to it and see how much I missed because see what I damn remember and I only remember the first three minutes of the podcast. Oh, pretty funny. Alright, update time. Um, <clears throat> I got back from chopping wood and ate lunch and got back around 12. And I proceeded to work on the code for our makers competition for 5 hours and 12 minutes. Uh, which was really fun because it wasn't troubleshooting. It was actually just writing the code and brainstorming and thinking things through. And right now... It looks like it's not working. There's no errors in the code. It's not working correctly, but I'm not at all stressed because it definitely seems like something I could problem solve and troubleshoot. But for now, that's all I need. That's all I believe I need to do right now for the code because all I'm supposed to do is work on the pseudo code. And now that I've got a understanding of the timer mechanism and stuff I was able to I'll be able to write that and then also I had kind of a scare because I was working on working on this and the LEDs were all lighting up fine before but then all of a sudden only some of them were lighting up and I it looked and it was specifically certain pins and I was worried that I had somehow shorted those out but then I realized I wasn't, I was using the P, PWNM function in order to actually change the brightness of the LEDs, and you actually can't do that 
on all the pins. So we had to drop that idea because we don't have enough of those specific pins to do. There's only six and I have eight LEDs. But after we figure that out, now I'm gonna get ready for the swing dance tonight and maybe some EHS games. Wow, It is currently 1.55 in the morning. I didn't think I was gonna be staying up this late tonight. Uh, but I did, uh, had EHS games. Uh, I guess first thing is I went to Fred Meyer today and I couldn't resist. I got these cookies at already 40% all the way through those. Definitely should close this up so I don't eat more. But, uh, EHS games were super fun tonight because, well, freeze tag was good as usual. Um, yeah, this is actually the best, yeah, actually, let me switch cameras one minute. This is the best games of EHS we've had so far. One minute, let me actually tuck myself in so I can be in bed while I say this. All right. So. First freeze tag, it was Nick, me, and uh, Taylor, which is Rachel's brother, who's up visiting. And we had, all right, we tag got Will on board, and then we froze everyone after some time. It took some time, because this is the most people we've had at an EHS game, I think, ever. Um, then, then the second round, Maylee and I got tagged on the third slash fourth floor on the stairwell on the right side of EHS and we were frozen the entire game there. What was really cool is we sang the songs we knew and I was harmonizing and she's got a really good voice so that was a ton of fun. I really enjoyed doing that. I like, yeah, I just really enjoy harmonizing and singing and the, it's got, the stairwell's got really good acoustics for it. Echoes and reverberates nicely. Um, and then we did Mafia. And for the first time, I finally got a killer. I finally was a killer. Uh, first thing I did, well, I tried to act normal. It's, I tried really hard. I already am normally suspicious, so I thought it wouldn't be that hard. But then I kind of acted weird around Peyton, and he's like, "Are you? You're pro you're the mafia, aren't you?" And I just was like, "Yep, I am." He's like, "Wait, really?" I'm like, "Yep." Uh, playing it off like I feel like I normally would. That was cool. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm gonna go kill someone on the second, on the second floor uh, over there. Uh, just keep people away from there, okay? Um, I went over there and, I, and then I found this really good hiding spot. It was on the top floor of each S and it actually, there was this door that's normally unlocked that goes through this like hallway, but it wasn't locked and I wanted to lure people in there because that would be the perfect place to hide bodies. Um, 
but we, um, but then what happened is I, the, this elevator was about to close and there's three people in it. I quickly ran in and it was not good and then we were about to go down and then quickly open the door for three more people. So there were seven people in the elevator. I'm like, someone's gonna die. You guys get ready. And I'm like, who's gonna kill us? And then I just spun in a circle. Went, I killed all six of them. David was there. and He was actually already a killer. So then I stayed in the elevator while he ran around. And this was a very abnormal game because we killed everyone. First round. There was no meeting called all nine of them, and it was it was, a, it was pretty fun. And then final round of Mafia, I could just tell that Taylor. Well, I can't say a hundred percent. I could tell. Uh, I tell people that I just instantly knew it was him. I had a, a high suspicion of him that it was going to be and was him but I didn't know for sure but I still told him like hey I know you're the killer let's go find someone else and I've got the perfect place for you to kill us and that you could hide our, hide our bodies and uh, bring other people to so then I showed him the area and he killed us and that was cool. Then we were in the hallway and we were just messing around and we found another door that was actually unlocked that went to the backstage of the, of the auditorium. So we turned on the lights and went down there and we saw the stage. It was, it was like the Hamilton set where the center spins. But, uh, yeah, it was really cool. Uh, then he went and killed someone else and we just chilled in there and then they eventually won. And now I'm time ready to go to bed. I was watching a um to the internships backload I had planned on applying to. I just finished the 50th one and I got some more work I need to do on my resume. I added two pictures which I think are cool. <laughs> 